Yo, what's up, YouTubers? This is your boy. I take you out. Got here uh, with another uh, 30 day trial, 30 day video review of Freedom Pop uh, Global SIM card um, running on AT&T network. Uh, you get a 3G HSPA plus. So a little bit of 4G, 3G, not LTE, but hey, I'm getting full bars. That's all that matters. I'm getting full bars. It, it runs smoothly. And um, yeah, my my experience, it, 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 to me, it hasn't even it hasn't even been a trouble. It hasn't been a problem. It hasn't been an issue. The setup was good. Um, getting the applications that I, I needed and was able to use, they all run smoothly. No crashes, no lags, none of that. So, um, if the the whole thing about it being free, I mean, yeah, it has its limitations, and yeah, it has its workarounds, and or they set you up on this premium service um, and I think the reason why they do that is if you like the service you'll keep it if you don't like it you can just go ahead and deactivate it or just say well I don't want to spend twenty dollars or I don't want to spend thirty dollars or something like that and um yeah you go ahead and get the free um, basic package which now they upgrade it to uh, you get 200 megabytes of data uh, 100 um, minutes and 100 uh, text messages so um when i go into to the application you can see all my um, service right there i get um well i get the one gig of data free each month now since you know i invited all of friend of pop friends um basically what you do is you invite people uh via email so you get the email address you send out email they, they get the email um, notification through their Freedom Pop account. They accept it. Uh, whether or not you share data, uh, whether or not you, uh, whether or not you share data, whether or not you earn data, that's that's the whole thing to, to keep people connected, to keep people with some kind of data connection other than Wi-Fi. Now, if you're around Wi-Fi, this is the perfect the perfect plan for you. Because you wouldn't be caring about data. You, you wouldn't because you're on Wi-Fi majority of the time, whether you're at work, whether you're at home over somebody's um, house, um, just at a hotel or fast food restaurant, things of that sort. Freedom Pop is for those particular people, mainly, mainly people that travel. So Freedom Pop is a, it's a great travel SIM card, a, a great traveling carrier, just like Project Fire is. Like, the, the, the most you really need with Project 5 is 30 bucks. And the most you probably really need with Freedom Pop is the Freedom Friends, Earn Data, Share Data. And they also have where you can offer, where you can uh, do special offers. Uh, you can sign up for stuff and, and they'll give you like data, certain amount of data each month. Um, what, I, what I found out is the max data you can get free for each month is two gigs of high speed data. I mean, two gigs. I don't see how people use up one gig. I don't see how people can use up four or five gigs if you're around Wi-Fi all the time. And a lot of people would definitely disagree with me, but I say majority of Wi-Fi is faster than, than a data connection that you have on your smartphone. So, I mean, yeah, you, you all can throw tomatoes and, you know, riding up a car or whatever for that, but um, this is my 30 day experience and I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Actually, I had more better better performances out of this out of this um network than actual project five and i think because of the fact was that project five was always finding signal was always switching and because i'm on at&t now like i said i'm getting four bars at the crib four bars and i don't get four bars with t-mobile or sprint at all on project five and, and this is the difference between freedom pop and they all also running on sprint if you have a Sprint phone and you bought it from Freedom Pop, you're gonna have Sprint Network. But if you want the AT&T, you gotta buy the uh, SIM card. And like I said, the SIM card was only 99 cents for me. Nothing else. And um, I did check my account today. Freedom Pop did not charge me for overages, fees, for cancellations, none of that. So whatever people was complaining about on YouTube or you know giving Freedom Pop crap, I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's September the 1st, 2016 right now. Maybe all that stuff was going on a year ago, a few months ago, but it's not happening to me. So, 
This is my take on 30 Days Later, guys. Uh, Freedom Pop is actually working for me. I got a gig, a free data. Um, I can use all my other apps. Not only that, but the WhatsApp is actually free with the talk and text plan. Now, I did get in contact with them, and I do have the data-only SIM card. And they was like, uh, that's a new beta SIM, so it's not it's not uh, compatible. WhatsApp is not compatible with the data-only SIM, so I can't, I can't talk and text for free um, with the data-only SIM. But if I have the Freedom Pop messaging app and the WhatsApp, I can talk to anybody for free. No data use. I can send out videos. I can send out text messages, calls, um, GIF, all that through the WhatsApp. So this is a, a, another um, jab at T-Mobile and Sprint and Boost Mobile with the Ben Jones type stuff. Freedom Pop is doing it with the WhatsApp right now. Uh, maybe they're going to add more messaging apps like Facebook Messenger or, or Line or Skype or something like that. Who, who knows what they're up to, but... As of right now, if you're on Freedom Pop, you can use Freedom Pop Messenger app for free. Nothing goes against that. And you can use the WhatsApp. Nothing goes against that. So you have two Messenger apps you can talk to and text and call anybody for free with. So this is another another big step in telecommunications. And I know a lot of people are like, that's going against net neutrality. But as you can see, T-Mobile and Sprint and Boost Mobile are still in business. They're not being shut down. So why should people be jabbing at Freedom Pop for, for doing this? But this is my take 30 days later with the Nexus 6. Uh, I got the Freedom Pop set up. As you can see, I did do a screenshot. I will leave a screenshot uh, again on Google+, Plus, Twitter, Facebook. Yo, y'all get at me. It's your boy. I'll take you out, guy. Holla at your boy. Peace.